hello and welcome back to the channel uh, previous episode we got the lights pretty squared away in the rudder and now we're moving on to interior parts for the Cessna 150 build so step one has got the floor of the cockpit got a couple of seats and what looks like the rudder pedals floor gets painted black the rudder pedals are silver and I guess the seats can get painted any color you want they're suggesting light and dark gray but hey you know upholstery is upholstery right so I've got the parts cut off the trees let's get to painting them okay we got some parts done Let's put them together. Uh, boy, things were different back when I built models as a kid. Uh, the glue was smelly and the paints were oil based. And so now they got high performance glues and the paint is acrylic based. So we can get this glue to come out of here. There we go. Here's a little. Yeah. We'll get used to using it. Here's the rudder pedals. Ruddle, right. Rudder pedals going on. On the floor of the cockpit. gotta do the front seats I didn't even paint those yet my bad be back to do that okay shame on me for not having those seats painted and ready to go so now scrape a little glue off or not glue but paint off where those go at Get the glue coming out. There we go. Just a little bit. That's all you need for these little parts. Just a little bit's all you need for these little parts. So. Get them to lean back just a little bit. There we go. Alright. And we got some seats going on in here. Then we got the bench seat starting. Well, not the bench seat, but the jump seat in the back. All right. I know it looks a little faded, but hey, that's either weathering or however you want to put your spin on it there. But uh, I can touch that up too to make it look new and uh, maybe even mask off the uh, border around the seat there, right? And uh, make that silver maybe later on when the parts dry. So I'll set that aside. Okay guys, uh, moving forward here, next is the uh, landing gear, and we got the firewall, and that means the electric motor for the propeller, and I'm thinking, how am I going to do this? Well, it comes with a buildup for the engine, and this is part of the engine block right here, but that's not going to be in here. Be and with that, if you're going to build it that way, it comes with the motor mount that goes on the firewall. And I looked at that, and the electric motor just 
happens to fit right into that motor mount right so now I thought that maybe depending on how this is all gonna work out because this is the cowling right here and this is gonna protrude away from the uh, firewall a certain distance and I haven't measured that yet So if it goes, you know, I can slide this back and forth a little bit and put a little hole in the firewall to plumb, plumb the wires through for the electricity. I think we got this pretty much nailed down. Okay, I got the firewall painted. The big slot there on the bottom, that's where the landing gear goes. And that other little square right there doesn't do anything as far as the instructions are concerned. So behind that are some molding marks. And so that top circle right there, I'm going to go in behind that with my Dremel tool and make a hole. And I'm going to feed the wires through that. For the for the wires for the motor. This is just one way you can do this. You can do this with a pin vise. But I got a little pointy uh I got a little pointy grinder here on the end of my Dremel tool that's drawn right through there. So there we go. Oh yeah, that's more than adequate right there. So we're through. That didn't took up sucking. That's the motor mount. I got it on the firewall, but I broke it getting it off the tree. Because it's so skinny, and trying to cut it off of there was really a job. So it's on there, it's glued, it's dried, drying. And so now I'm just waiting for this thing to dry. And, uh,. Then I'll start fitting the motor to it and get the cowls on there, sort of, and tape them on there and see where the propeller is coming through. So, so that's the next step. Usually, there's a decal to go with the instrument panel, but not this model. So I'm trying to paint instrument panel with a toothpick and dropping little balls of silver paint into some of these cavities but anyway that's what I'm working on right now as a side project I acquired this 148 scale F9F Panther model it was in pretty good shape, but the decals were just flaking off of it all over the place. So I went on eBay and found a new set, and uh, I put them on. And so I thought that when I bought them, that the the new set was a new set, and it wasn't. It was the same model decals that came out of another kit they were just as old and when I tried to put them on they were really difficult because they were breaking and busting up and so I weathered the model a little bit and it looks a little bit more realistic now but I was gonna put a, a clear coat on it so to seal up the uh, decals that got put on it so I'm gonna mask off the cockpit and that's gonna be coming up next.